I'm going to show a few pictures you've sent in on my Facebook fan page. I'm TV Dave Hovde. Uh, you can post away there and a lot of folks have sent in pictures of just beautiful animals. And uh, while you're there, uh, click follow and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Here's what's going on out of the coastline. You can see those waves coming in, all the energy from the wind going into the water and producing plenty of swell. This is Duke, Frank Feliz's dog and the orange hat. I like that. Really good, uh, really good look there. It's interesting, animals and uh, outfits. Uh, <laughs> Becky Matters, uh, look at Lucky. Lucky looks like a, a pretty big cat, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cute, cute, though. And uh, Jules Martinez. I uh, <laughs> love that picture, too. Fantastic. Uh, thanks for having some fun with us today. We really appreciate it. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, use the hashtag BeOnKSBY. We have a ridge of high pressure across the west right in here. You can see how clouds are arcing there. And then we have a trough out here where you can see how the clouds are diving inside the Sierra Nevada and then lifting out into the plains. We're stuck in the middle. That's why we have all the wind. High pressure under this ridge and low pressure off to our east. Interesting to note, we did see a few showers up in the Sierra Nevada and maybe a drop or two sprinkles along the Tembler range today, but uh, no reports of actual measurable rainfall. We did have a little system pass off to the east today. 57 Santa Maria, 56 San Luis, 64 Paso, 58 Lompoc and 71 in Santa Barbara and the winds 15 to 25 miles per hour with some gusts up to 30 and 35 for the central coast, even higher than that in the Santa Barbara County high country. And that's been going on since essentially noon today. 28 to 35 mile per hour gusts at 105. We're going to move forward to 225, 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts across the area. More widespread wind gusts through the four o'clock hour. Gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Santa Maria and Vandenberg lasting into this hour as well. And you can see a lot of it here focused in Santa Barbara County, which is typically what happens. All that energy moves from the north to the south behind that northwest wind. So we get that 20 to 30 mile per hour potential with gusts of 45 through 3 a.m. in Santa Barbara County. We'll drop the advisory in San Luis Obispo County at 9 o'clock. In fact, winds, the trend is down already a little bit over the last couple of hours. We do have a high surf advisory that's 8 to 12 feet because of all the wind generated here. The winds do go offshore as we get into the weekend and Saturday a warm up. We give it right back though on Sunday and Monday, but it returns on Wednesday and Thursday for a nice weekend warm middle of the week with mid 70s to potentially 80 degree temperatures next week as well. So upper 60s, low 70s for the central coast, mid 70s for the south coast because those north and northwest winds don't bring air right over the water for the south coast. 72 Santanez and Los Salamos, 68 in Orcutt, five cities temperatures mid 60s to about 70. Lower 70s up in North County of San Luis Obispo, even though the overnight lows will be in the 40s. Five day forecast trend is up into Saturday and Sunday, then back a little bit next week. I think we'll start to see some reemergence of marine layer in night and morning hours along the central coast next week. Karina, back to you.